Fickner, and my course for closing is called Into the NFL. Um, just a brief outline of my course proposal. I'm going to start out with an introduction. Go into the purchase statement, why I think this course is necessary and why I think it's important. Um, I'll start, I'll give you a course description, just a little background on what it's about. Talk a little bit about the scoring of the course, the assignments, what they're worth. And then we get a conclusion, just kind of wrap it all up. So just a, an introduction. Techcom is a very fun. I know a lot of people don't think that TechCon is very fun, and I certainly don't think it's very fun. Um, a lot of the times I get kind of frustrated, maybe I just give up. And I don't think that's the way it should be. So I think that Into the NFL is designed to make TechCon more fun and exciting, so that you know students won't get frustrated as much, they won't get bored as much, things like that. Um, the purpose statement, the purpose of this course is to make TechCon more fun and more exciting. I think that by making it more fun and exciting, it will um, it'll help students get more involved. It will encourage them to spend a little bit more time with that phone, and then they'll get the most out of it. They'll learn the most, and they'll be able they'll be better prepared to go into the workplace. Uh, course description: You'll start out by picking a rookie player in the NFL. Uh, Picture is Robert Griffin III. He was a rookie last year. Um, he had a pretty good season. He got rookie of the year, so that would be the kind of player that. Follow up your player throughout the semester. Watch his game. I mean, you don't have to watch his games, but you know, just kind of know how he's doing, stuff like that. And then you write and present about your player and their team. Um, this is kind of built on to our tech comp course you have right now. So it'll take all the assignments that we do right now and just add a little bit of a twist to them, kind of incorporate it into your player, his team, and how he does, and that'll make it more fun and interesting. Um, I did. All the assignments, I redid them, but I'm just going to talk to you about three of them today. Uh, the first one is a resume. You'll write a resume, and it'll be your resume. You can use it at the um, job fair, you know, you can hand it to potential employers, things like that. And then you'll hand it in, you'll get a grade, and that grade will determine which players you can pick. For example, if you get a 90 on your resume, then you'll be able to pick any player that was drafted that you want. But if you got an 80, you wouldn't be able to select any players that were drafted. <coughs> down from there. And once you get below a 70, <coughs> then um, you won't be able to select any player that's taken in the first round. So when you get below a 70, you get an option to redo it. And you can redo your resume, hand it in again. And then the grade that you get on that will get dropped down by a letter, and it'll get dropped down by a selection. So for example, if you redid it, and you got a 90, you get a B, and you wouldn't be able to select anyone in the top 10. And um, the second assignment Summaries. You'll have to write five of them. They'll just be a page long, so they shouldn't be too, you know, too time consuming, too bad. And they'll be about your player's in-game performance for five of his games. So they'll just talk about how he did, things like that, and what he can improve on. And um, the good thing about these is you can write them anytime over the course of the semester. So it's really convenient for the students. Like if you have a week where you don't have much homework, you can write one of your summaries, get it out of the way. And um, a little twist this game has is you have to portray your player's um, personality in your summary. So if he's kind of cocky, maybe talks a lot of trash, you kind of have to put that in your summary. So it'll be kind of fun. Hopefully it won't be as tiresome as things like that when you're writing the summaries um, compared to a different actual summary. And um, the last thing I did is a persuasive presentation. You'll be doing this, you have to write a set of, or a game proposal for your player's team and then you'll have to give a proposal on it to the class that pretty much says that this is the best game plan you can have. And um, the thing about this is that students or the audience can ask you questions while you're giving your proposal. So it'll give students, you know, it'll get them better um, kind of thinking on their feet. You know, they'll get a question, they won't be 100% prepared for it, so it'll get them better to react. So that's my course description, kind of, in a nutshell. Um, scoring is completely up to the teacher. We just kind of give an example of scoring. For some reason, we were 10 points each, so they'd all add up to 50 points. Uh, your resume, your letter, and your email, you need 50 points each. And then 
instructions and your proposal will be at 200 points each, and your speech will be at 100 points each. Um, in conclusion, into the NFL, my first proposal is a more fun, exciting way to do tech comp. And by being more fun and exciting, I think it will get the most out of the students. Because when they're doing something that they're having fun with, that they enjoy, they'll put more time into it. They'll